All right, let's talk sick figs. These are, these are known as sick figs, significant figures. Okay, so uh, this is how confident I am in my measurement. I could tell you that my height is 5'6", or I could tell you it's 5'6", 7'4", 3'2", 3'. Decimal points, meaning I know for a fact that that is my height, all the way to this uh, number. This this three at the end, I know that to be true. If it was two, it would be wrong, okay? If I told you in a recipe to add 12 grams of chocolate chips, or 12.372232 grams of chocolate chips, this means you have a very um, specific mass that you have to add. If you add this, uh, this is probably wishy-washy. We don't know exactly. 12.1 is fine. Probably 12.05, 11.9, whatever. This, I better add this. I I, I can't be too wrong. Um, I could probably uh, be wrong on the next number here. Uh, maybe I could do 12.3722328 or 12.3722321. That's probably fine. But uh, that's really hard to measure. So the significant figures tells you how confident you are uh, in stating something to be true, okay? Which is why when you punch things into the calculator and just spit them back out, that's not right. So we're gonna, I'm going to try here to have you undo that and, and think critically about what you measure, okay? Uh, and so uh, here's a good thing uh, to measure. I want to measure the length of this red line, okay? How would I go about doing this? Uh, well, I put this against this uh, a ruler, okay, uh, and I, I put the, one of them obviously at zero, and the other end I'll put wherever it ends, and so it ends somewhere here, you see, okay? So I know it's, well, definitely two centimeters, and then each one of these is 0.1, so 2.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's between 2.5 and 2.6 centimeters, okay? So the way you report this uh, scientifically and in engineering is you'd say, well, uh, I'm going to guesstimate the last thing here. So I know for a fact it's 2.5 something. It's not 2.6. It's not quite there. I know it's 2.5 something. So I'm going to estimate that last digit. So maybe 2.53, 2.58, whatever I want. That last digit is called the uncertain figure, but it's still significant. So I know it's 2.58. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm confident that it's 2.58. Okay, so if I were to report 2.58 to somebody, they would understand what I'm saying. If I said 2.583, well, I'm lying. I cannot discern that it's 2.583 from this. I don't have micro scales here. If I did, I would be able to try to estimate that three, right? If I just said 2.5, I'm also lying because I can I can say that it's more than 2.5 and less than 2.6. So why why omit something that I know? Okay, and that's how you'd measure uh, any scale this way. Always to one uncertain figure. Okay, so oh, 2.58 is what I estimated. Great, uh, so we just did this already. Sig figs. How do we know uh, if I'm giving you a measurement, what counts as a significant figure and what doesn't? All right, so uh, these are the rules. Anything that's not zero, like eight or three or seven or nine, that counts as a significant figure. Zeros could be significant depending on where they are. If they're between two numbers that aren't zero, like here, they're significant. If they're at the end of a number to the right, uh, they're going to be significant in scientific notation. If they're to the left, no, they're not. Okay, so let's go over some examples. 503, zero is between the two non-zeros, non so all three should count, one, two, three. There's three significant figures. I can trust that this is 503. This means 503 for sure. Does it mean 503.5? Does it mean 504? It means 503. I know for a fact it's whatever that is, 503. 610. Well, the zeros to the right. It's not in scientific notation. This only two. Only two significant figures. Okay? 10,000. Uh, actually, it's one. I'm going to correct this in front of you. I don't like it. One. One sick pig. Only the one is significant. These zeros are not significant. If I wanted to make sure that a scientist or an engineer would realize these are significant, I would have to write this in scientific notation this way. 1.0000 times 10 to the fifth. This signifies here that all of these zeros are significant. This signifies that they're not. This signifies I measured these zeros. This signifies I just, yeah, it's 10,000. 
It's just an estimation, okay? Here, I only have one. All these zeros don't count. To the left of a number, don't count. So 0 0.00001, only the one is significant. Here, uh, the zeros are between two non-zeros. All four are significant. Here, uh, again, uh, it's the same as this. I have five, all right? So um, here again, this is you solving this problem, 610. If you, want to, if you want to say that the zero is significant, then you have to make the scientific notation. Here I have two sig figs. Here I have three sig figs, okay? So uh, I want you to practice this. There'll be a bunch of homework on this. This is very important. Sig figs, very, I cannot stress how important it is. Uh, you will be graded on this throughout the semester. You'll be graded on this beyond this class. If you're taking engineering classes, they'll care about this. I tell you as an engineering professor myself. I, I care about this. Physicists care about this. Engineers care about this. Chemists care about this. Do not take this lightly. Very, very important. Because by you telling somebody else what your measurement is, you're telling them what you're confident that you, you, that, that you actually measured, that they can actually try to replicate that, right? You can't just say, oh, it's 10,000. You have to tell them exactly that it is exact, that you're confident it is 10,000. You have to communicate that to them. And we in engineering and science, we don't write prosaic things at the end of things. We usually, uh, we make things very very mathematical, very cold. Uh, and so instead of me write, I, I can write, I can, I can call my buddy and say, yeah, I measured 10,000 grams. Okay? And then they'll, they'll trust me that it was 10,000. But if I want to communicate to the entire world, I can't just say, I measured 10,000 and, and all the zeros are significant. It's exactly 10,000. Instead of doing that every single time, I will have to, uh, I can just write this and I'm done. I don't have to write anything. I can just write this. This was measured to be 1.000 times 10 to the fifth grams. Done. I, then it tells somebody who's reading it that it is 10,000. For sure, 10,000. Okay? That the person who measured it, then measured 10,001, didn't kind of sort of measure 10,001.3. It's 10,000. Okay? So, uh, very important. I want you to, I, I'm, I cannot stress this enough. All right. Let's let's see what happens when you uh, when you when you manipulate stuff mathematically, and I will go over examples uh, in a second here uh, with sig fig arithmetic. All right. So if I add two numbers uh, that uh, that, and I want to make sure that I conform to significant figures, meaning that uh, the uh, the the, the Measurement, the final thing that I calculated, okay, is statistically statistically significant and has uh, uh, a precision and an accuracy embedded in it and a trustworthiness, okay? Uh, I have to conform to these rules. All right. So let's say I have two measurements that are legit, legit measurements. I measured one thing to be 35.555, say, meters. And another thing is 35.5 meters, okay? Meaning I have a lot of confidence in this guy, but not so much this guy. This I have more confidence. This I can, I have three sig figs, I have five, okay? This to me means uh, that when I add this up, because I have uncertainty here, I don't know what comes after this five. It could be one or three or nine or eight. I don't know. I just don't know. I know for a fact it's 35.5. I don't know what happens afterwards. So when I add this up, these two, and punch into the calculator, I'll get 70.155. So from an arithmetic point of view, yes, this is the correct answer. From a scientific and an engineering point of view, this is not correct because I don't know that these five fives are correct. I don't know what happened after these two, after this five. I don't know. So I don't know that I can trust this to be five five. I can't. So I have to get rid of it. So we do. So you, when you add or subtract, you, you truncate based on the figure with the least amount of decimal places. This has one decimal place, stick with one decimal place. Okay, so I'm, I'll, I'm, gonna, round, I'm gonna round it up to 70.2, and that's the correct answer. Let's say I added this and this, I can only trust the second decimal place, I can only have my second decimal place be reported. That's when you add and subtract. When you multiply or divide, the rule is a little bit different. The result should have the same number of sig figs as the measurement with the fewest sig figs. Okay, let's look at this. I know that I have two sig figs here, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
this this I know of. This is like eight zeros after this three. For a fact, I know that. Meaning that it's not 3.0005333. It's 3.0003. I know this for a fact. When I multiply these two together, I want to try. I want to have two six bits at the end. Just six point zero. Not 6.000, it's just 6.0. I can only trust two sig figs, I'll stick with two sig figs. If I multiply 6.221 and 5.2, I only have two sig figs to trust. So even though the calculator is gonna give me this number, I can only trust the first two. So it's 32. Same thing here. I have three things I'm multiplying. I can only trust the two significant figures, 5.4. So I get in the calculator 2285.01. What do I do? I need two sig figs. I will convert to scientific notation and write 2.3 times 10 to the third. I'm, I basically, I make this into 2300. This is 2300. I can only trust that to be 2300. And to communicate to somebody else that is two sig figs, I'll write 2.3 times 10 to the third so they don't think that the zeros are significant. They're not. So it's 2.3 times 10 to the third tells me I have two sig figs. Okay, let's go over some examples. I'm sure uh, you're dying to see them because this this is not, this. I don't want you to take this lightly. This is very, very important. All right, so uh, let's see. What should this this be? Eleven thousand two hundred and fifty four point one grams, and I add to this point one nine eight three grams. Okay, so try this yourselves. Pause me, and we'll we'll continue. So when I add these two together, I'll punch this into the calculator. The calculator is going to tell me eleven thousand two hundred and fifty four uh, point two nine eight three grams. Okay, great. But I can only trust the first decimal place. So I don't want to have all this nonsense. I can't trust 983. So I need to round this up, round this up to three, and it's 11,254.3 grams. And that's that's what I report from SIGFIX. If you give me this, that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Minus a billion. Okay. So uh, I cannot stress this enough. This, this, is, this is a pet peeve for uh, uh, project managers, uh, you know, I, I could I could tell you from having worked in the industry, it's a pet peeve for uh, professors. It's a pet peeve for any advisors. If you go to grad school, it tells you the person you're communicating with how serious you are. If you don't care about this, you're not serious. You're sloppy. So be consistent. This is so important. Sixty six point five nine liters. Did I mention it's important? It's very important. I'm going to subtract this and put this into the calculator. It's going to spit out at me 63.477 liters. All right, so um, uh, I can only trust two, two, six, two, two decimal point, uh, points, not three, because I'm subtracting, right? So I need to get rid of this seven, and when I get rid of this seven, this goes up to eight, so I get 63.48 liters, and that's the answer, okay? You will be given, by the way, in real life, beyond this class in physics and maybe some engineering classes, you'll be given some leeway within one one or two sig figs, I bet. But um, don't get used to that in this class. I won't I won't be very nice about that if you do that here. All right. Um, and I'm just trying to really prepare you. Uh, so you look professional when you when you use this stuff. You will need to look professional and see professional uh, from a technical point of view as well. Okay, I want to measure this. I measured the mass of something to be this and the volume to be this, and I want to know the density. So I divide them. Okay, so this gives me the density. If I put this into the calculator, I get this, 0 0.000, and then 1744054 uh, kilograms per meter cube, per milliliter, sorry. Okay, so, um, if I get this from you, I'll be livid. Livid. No. Don't just give me whatever the calculator gave you. Yes, technically you're right, but but you didn't really measure this. You don't know that with confidence. So this has three sig figs. This has three sig figs. You can only truncate this into three sig figs, right? And so this would be 0 0.00, 0 0174. Uh, kilograms per, mil per milliliter. And uh, if you want to write this in scientific notation, which I know I have not 
gone over. I encourage you to look at it in the book. I'm doing this on purpose. Uh, this is how you do that, okay? All right. Uh, okay, so uh, let's do one more. Why not? It's fun, right? I'm enjoying myself. 2.64 times 10 to the third centimeters, okay? Uh, plus 3.27 times 10 to the second centimeters. Ooh, that's kind of hard to do, isn't it? Okay, this is the rule. You want to make sure that when you add stuff that's um, times 10 to the something, they both should be the same something. So this here is 3. Here it's 2. So I'm going to convert one of them to 2 or 3, or, or the other one to 3 or something like that. So that's what, that's what I'll do. So if you put this in the calculator, by the way, it'll be completely wrong. You can't do that. So you, wanna, you want to uh, convert. Uh, I'll convert this here to... Uh, times 10 to the third, so that I have both of these. these this is the same. This and this are identical, right? So I, again, I'm not going over um, scientific notation. I encourage you to look at it yourselves. It's not hard. I'm doing this on purpose. To see. This is the only thing I'm omitting. OK, now I can add them up. So what I'll do is I'll add these up, OK? And this stays the same. So I could do this now, 2.64 plus point. 327 times 10 to the third centimeters. I could do that. That's kosher. And when I add this up, I can only trust the two to two decimal places. So that's what I'll do. This becomes 2.967 uh, times 10 to the third centimeters, which I need to truncate to two to two decimal po uh, points. Uh, and I get 2.97 times 10 to the third uh, centimeters. And that's the correct answer. This gives me exactly what I need with confidence, okay? It seems annoying, but trust me, it, it speaks volumes of what, what you, uh, of what, of your own abilities as an engineer or a scientist. 